Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We've just been given clearance from the tower, so we're moving into position and we'll be taking off very shortly. This is your first time flying with us, Johnson? Yes, sir. Well, don't worry, son. I've made this trip a bunch of times. Should be smooth sailing. Sir? Good man. Prepare for takeoff. Sir, uh, uh, we can actually take off at some point. Of course, Johnson. This is an airplane. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! We have to act quickly! I I'll organize the evacuation! The sea cushions still float, right? Okay, okay, first we need to- Sit down, Johnson. Sir? What's the problem? The problem? We're in the water. The plane is in the water. And? A plane shouldn't be in the water. That's what boats do. Sit down, Johnson. Didn't they tell you what flight this is? They, they told me this was the transatlantic flight. Ah, it is. But this is the flight for people who are afraid of heights. You see, in the interest of drumming up as much business as possible, our company has begun targeting groups that normally don't fly, like our afraid of heights people back there. They can't handle being up in the air, so we just kind of skim across the water like this. Why'd you think it was called the hydroplane? I, I just figured it sounded cool. Does, doesn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain again. Just letting you know that we're now flying at a speed of 40 knots and an altitude of sea level. But if you're flying a plane across the surface of the water, doesn't it become a boat at that point? I mean, at least technically. Not at all. We've got wings and jets and landing gear. What kind of boat has landing gear? This one? Now, stop that, Johnson. Your attention, please. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'd like to ask you all to please return your chairs to their locked and upright positions as we prepare for descent. Thank you. Descent? Great. We're not a boat anymore. Now we're a submarine. Look, Johnson, I've had just about enough of your naysaying. Just because we're underwater doesn't mean this isn't still a plane. I suppose you turn into a fish when you take a bath. Well, no, but... Captain, enemy vessel spotted. Thank you, Miss Stakerpodge. Load the torpedo tubes. Aye, Captain. Torpedoes? What plane has torpedoes? This one does, and it's a good thing, too. Fire torpedo one.